Hello children, how are you? My name is Busola. What's your name? Oh, you have lovely names. It's good to meet you again. I'm sure you're wondering why I'm wearing this. This is my oven glove and I'm wearing it because I'm baking a cake. Woo! I can't wait for the cake to be done and have a taste of it. Ah, but don't worry. I'm sure you like to have a taste of my cake, but don't worry. If you ask for me and daddy nicely, they just might get you a cake. Do you remember what we were taught last week? Auntie taught us about trust, trusting in God. And today we are going to continue, right? And I'm going to tell you about a big oven, way bigger than my oven here. A very big oven that can even take about four or more people wow can you imagine how many cakes you can bake in that kind of big oven don't worry we are going to talk about it when we come back from praise and worship but before then eyes together heads bowed and eyes closed in jesus name heavenly father we thank you for today thank you for the opportunity to be in your presence once more and we thank you for the privilege you've given us to hear another bible story today be thou exalted, O God, in Jesus' name. Father, we pray that you help us to understand what we learn, what we are being taught today, that we will learn and we will also continue to trust in you in Jesus' name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. For in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Woo! I feel like praising the Lord. Let's go praise, worship God. Woo! You are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised, beautiful for all situations. You are the joy of the whole world. You are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised, beautiful for all situations. You are the joy of the whole world. Oh, heaven speaks of your glory. The works of your beauty. If I dance it to be no, if I shout it to be no, heaven speaks of your glory and the works of your beauty. If I dance it to be no, if I shout it to be no, say you are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised, beautiful for all situations. You are the joy of the, you are the great, you are the great and mighty God. So great, greatly to be praised, beautiful for all situations. You are the joy of the whole world. You are the great, you are the great and mighty God. Great and mighty God. Mighty God, beautiful for all situations. You are the joy.
praising God. Woo! I did too. Now remember before we went for praise and worship, I was talking to you about a very big oven. Don't worry, I didn't forget my own oven. My cake is still in the oven baking. Don't worry, before the end of this lesson, my cake might just be done. 
about that oven I was telling you about. Remember last week, Auntie taught us about trust. Before I continue, let me try and define trust for you. What does trust mean? Trust means knowing something or being sure of something, even if you cannot prove it. Like when daddy and mommy drop you off at school, you don't know where they go when they leave you in school, but you trust that they will come back for you. No matter how late they might be sometimes, they usually do come back. And, but you, you, you stay back in school and you, and you trust that they will come back for you. Now that's trust. If you can trust your daddy and mommy so much, then you can trust God as well. Because remember, Auntie told us last week that God is a super trustworthy person. Praise the Lord. Now to my story for today, I'm going to be telling you about three boys, three Hebrew boys. Do you want to know their names? Of course, I'll tell you. One of the boys is called Shadrach. The other boy is called Meshach. And the third is Abednego. Unique names, right? One, Shadrach. Two, Meshach. And three, Abednego. Now, these boys were good boys. They did the right things. They trusted in God. They were good children. They gave to those that were in need. They were nice and caring boys. However, they had a very wicked king. The king was called King Nebuchadnezzar. Long name, right? Say it with me, King Nebuchadnezzar. Right. And King Nebuchadnezzar woke up one day and said that he wanted everyone in the kingdom to do something bad. Something bad. And the boys were not happy. Because they didn't want to do anything that God would not like. But the king insisted that everybody must do that thing. Or they get thrown into, guess what? The big oven! If anyone didn't do what the king asked them to do, they would be thrown in the big oven. Wow! Do you know how hot an oven is? I, I even had to wear my oven gloves because the oven is so hot whenever I want to check on my cake. And the king said he was going to throw anyone that didn't do as he said in the big oven. But do you know what? The boys refused to do what the king said because they trusted that God was going to save them from the king. And they told the king, Oh king, we cannot do what you want because it is not going to make our God happy. Our God is going to save us from you. And even if he doesn't save us, we are still going to trust in him. Wow, can you imagine that kind of trust in God? The Hebrew boys trusted in God so much. And do you know what happened? The king got so angry that they refused to do what he asked them to do. And he threw them. One, Shadrach. Two, Meshach. Three, Abednego. He threw them into the oven. Boom! My God! Can you imagine what happened to them in the oven? <laughs> I'm sure you thought they got burnt. No, they didn't get burnt. As the king was looking into the oven, guess what happened? He saw four people. Remember, he threw three of them into the oven. One, Shadrach. Two, Meshach. Three, Abednego. He threw three boys into the oven. But he looked, rubbed his eyes. He saw four people in the oven. Wow! Who is that first person? And guess what? They didn't burn. They were walking majestically in the oven. It wasn't hot or anything. Even in the fire, it wasn't hot. They didn't get burnt at all. Guess who the first person was? Can you guess? I think, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Ha, yes, you guessed right. It was God. God was, God was with them in the oven. 
he protected them from the heat and they did not get burnt at all. Can you imagine that? The king then asked his guards to bring them out from the oven. He called them. He said, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, come out from the oven. And they walked out unhurt. No bonds, no pains at all. And then the king was so amazed. And he told everyone in the kingdom to start worshipping the God of the three Hebrew boys. The God of Shadrach, the God of Meshach, and the God of Abednego. That is the God that we serve. And everyone in the kingdom started worshipping that God. The trust, the most trustworthy person. Wow! I really like that story because it shows that you can always, always trust God and God never fails. How do you trust God? You trust God even when you know, even when you are not sure what will happen. Like the Hebrew boys, they were not sure what will happen to them. They didn't know what the king was going to do to them or what will happen if they got thrown in the oven. But they trusted God. So even you, when your mommy asks you a question or you think you might put somebody in trouble, you should always do what is right, even if you are not sure what is going to happen. And when you are confused, when you don't know what to do, you also trust in God. The three Hebrew boys trusted in God. They were confused. They were afraid. What do we do? We are children of God. We cannot do the bad thing that the king asks us to do. We cannot do it. But however, we trust in God because our God never fails. So when you are confused, you don't know what to do. Your friends are asking you to do something bad. Remember the three Hebrew boys. They didn't do anything bad that the king asked them to do. But they trusted in God. So if your friends are asking you to do something bad, trust in God to help you to always do the right thing. Praise the Lord. It's time for our memory verse. Our memory verse, like we talked about last week, is taken from the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 5 and 6. Remember we sang last week. Can you remember the song? Right? From Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 5 and 6. Let's sing it together. One, two, go. The Lord with all your heart and lean not upon your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him, and He shall direct, and He shall direct your path. Wow, I love this song. Let's sing it one more time. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not upon your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him and He shall direct and He shall direct your path. Wow! I'm sure you know that song by now. You must sing it all through the week so that you know that you have to trust in God all the time. He is the most trustworthy person. Now let's close our eyes as we close the lesson. Your hands together, your heads bowed and your eyes closed. In Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for another wonderful time in your presence. Thank you for what we have learned today about the three Hebrew boys and how they trusted you. We pray, Lord, that you help us to always trust you at all times, even when we are not sure what will happen. Help us to always trust you, our most trustworthy person. Be thou exalted, O God, in Jesus' name. We pray that our week is blessed, and as we go into this new week, we will trust in you, and we know that you will never fail us. To you be all the glory forever. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Wow, I smell my cake burning. I have to go check it. I'll see you next time. Bye.